Good morning. How are you? Tell me. I'm named Alice. Yes, Alice. Uh, what are you doing here? What are you trying to achieve? So we've come here yep. to talk to this lady. 
and she's really facing a lot to an extent that she doesn't have a plate stand, she doesn't have a kitchen to cook, where to cook from and on top of that even the pit latrines ain't in a good condition whereby it's not even enclosed yes. and yet they have children at home it's a wife and husband at home so at any time when they get to the pit latrine anyone can see them um, have you visited the other homesteads around? Do you think they have uh, they have the same problem or this one in particular? Few, few of them. Cause mm. recently we visited an old lady somewhere, and we tried to talk to her. Her house wasn't in a good condition; it was even about to fall. So we tried out to get the soil and tried to renovate. We were by. She wasn't even able to get the water from where other community members get it from. So we contributed some money, paid for her to so that she can get access to the borehole, the community borehole, which is the source of water in that area. And we left her having a smile on her face. Sure. Yeah. Uh, why did you zero in on this one alone? Because I believe there are other people who have the same problem. So we visited several families, but then we tried to talk to them and we helped where we could help. But if we reach a certain family and we find out that they are really badly off, we give a hand of, what, of which is what we are doing right now. These guys didn't have a rubbish pit and whereby it's really needed in a home. Allow the seniors to enter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> video Let me first make the edges. Eh? Come out, my big girl.
Yes, Olive. Uh, tell us exactly what is happening here. What are you trying to achieve? What exactly are you doing here? Uh, here we are trying to improve on the hygiene and sanitation. You can see we've been cleaning the borehole. Like, uh, we found it so dirty, bushy, the, the, the root to the, to the borehole was bushy. So we try to dig around, sweep around. Yeah. Mm. Um, so after digging and uh, all this, uh, uh, what exactly did you want to, to, to achieve? To achieve, yeah, to improve on the community, on the community sanitation. Yes. Yeah. Did you talk to anybody around here? Mm. Yes, we talked to that man. Mm. Yeah, about the borehole. Mm. Uh, in case it gets some problems, uh, who is responsible? He told us the community is responsible. If at all there is a problem or it stops doing, uh, doing water, it's the community to, to contribute money and work on, on it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, did you get here uh, some old people to assist around the, uh, this place? To assist us? Yeah. To assist around this place? Yes. As in you as a group? Yes, to help them? Mm. Yes. Uh, how many like did you find? Oh, uh, they are more like around uh, 15. Mm. Yeah. What exactly was their problem? Mm. I think uh, their problem, most of them are is, uh, uh, we poverty. Mm. There is somewhere we went, some uh, household, we found uh, the lady was from uh, giving birth and she was crying of hunger. Mm. So we tried to donate some stuff like sugar, rice, mm. bread. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Ah! <laughs> 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 
We create a, 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 water, a water pass or we are blocking water pass. You would have cleaned this up to here. I am asking where the water is going. Are we creating a water pass or we are blocking water pass? They are creating. Ah, are you I'm not blocking. Okay, just come and hold and you do it. And did you show us? Hmm. Instead of just there. <laughs> You know, with these people, anything is a disagreement. <laughs> they are supposed to aggravate everything. Complicate. Aggravate. Aggravate is complicated. Simple English. Is it allowed for a gentleman? Are you my girlfriend? Even have one. Yes, Do I need to have one? With all your legs? Yeah, it's okay. Can you manage? Really hard. Mm -hmm. But it's this, it's My name is Miguel Simon Pippa. Yes, Simon. Uh, what exactly are you doing here? What are you trying to achieve? Okay, today when we came here, we realized uh, that there was a lot of stagnant water uh, in, around the bowel. And uh, as one way of promoting hygiene, we had to clean with my group. We tried grading and grading a water pot for this water because it was blocked a bit close to the bowel. Mm. And, uh, and uh, we also tried. Uh, on the other side, we have actually been interviewing the other homestead. We also tried to create uh, some, uh, some way entrance to them. We clean for them the, 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 the road. Then, yeah, I think this is what we have done. Though we have sampled other homesteads. The other things we have done by it, uh, that unfortunately we are not able to, to capture. So today, we, this is where we are finally ended. Oh, John Kevin. Yes, Joan. Um, tell us your experience about uh, this field work. Uh, the experience that we got from here, uh, we got to know that the community is facing a lot of challenges and we have gotten some knowledge about data collection and how to sensitize the people in the community about the good hygiene, about how to control some of the diseases due to poor sanitation. For example, in the households that we have been through, uh, we have gotten issues like malaria, they are facing problems of cough, flu, so we sensitize them that they have to sleep under treated mosquito nets and they have to boil their water before drinking. You have been in the field for almost two weeks now. Yeah. What has been your most interesting scenario in the field? The most interesting scenario was when we went to one of the homesteads and we were trying to get uh, details from the, one of the ladies and as we were there seeing that there was really poor sanitation but she was still telling us she really doesn't have any problem and she's okay with the health and mm. the sanitation. So we're trying to tell her, you know, we are seeing this and this, we have observed this, you have to sweep your compound, you have to slash around. And we also helped her slash around the compound to mm. prevent the breath of uh, mosquitoes that can bring malaria. Sure, is there anything else that you would like to tell us that we have not talked about here, that you found in the field? Okay, in the fields what I found, like when you're going to the households, the language, the communication skills are more vital. Uh, you, sh you can't go to one of the households and then you start telling them, okay, you can't go and you start talking to them without introducing yourself. So I think the next thing that people are, in case they are coming for field work, they have to learn communication skills. Yes. Yeah, how to oh. talk to the people in the community. Yes, what was the most uh, disappointing scenario in the field? The most disappointing scenario was when we asked one of the ladies in the household about uh, the social problems that she's facing and she told us she can't tell us because what she faces in her home is for her own. So she doesn't know what her neighbors are facing though she's not in good terms with her neighbor.
Mbala ba Trevor. Yes, Trevor. Uh, tell me what you exactly you are doing there, uh, you are doing here. Uh, how did you come to this, and what are you trying to achieve? Uh, well, we are here. We are trying to make a plate stand. We've been doing this all along, from actually the second, the second day to the first day we kept we were discovering the boundaries and such things. But yeah, we've been doing this. Uh, we are making plate stands. We are. Digging pits, yeah. So, uh, why basically. why did you exactly to do it here and not somewhere else? Well, we it depends on what someone needs. We come to your homestead, uh, we ask you some questions, and after getting that information, we ask we ask you uh, what would you like us to help you. Then. Yes. Someone says that I need a plate stand, then we promise him mm. that we shall come mm. on such and such a day. We make an appointment, then we come and do it. Yes. Yeah. Um, it is almost three weeks now since you started the, the field work. Yes, please. Uh, tell us your major challenges that you have found in the field. Mm, the challenges... This one is not strict. Uh, the, the field basically it hasn't been but it's good. that lower, challenging since the, the people have been cooperative with us, but still, uh, challenges are there, though they are not that much. Yeah, we, we faced the problem of uh, sunshine, the sunshine is too much, yeah, then the other thing, injuries, we sustain injuries as we are doing such things. Yeah. Uh, for example, when you're hammering a knife, then you hit yourself. You sustain injuries. Yeah. Uh, then the other thing is these residents mistake us to be government officials. Yeah. So we we meet them, we interact with them. Then after they expect some financial support from us. Yeah. And they, because they think that we have money. And yet, we don't have enough to solve their problems. Yeah, so basically, those are the major challenges you faced. The most interesting scenario is a, is a lady this, around here. She doesn't walk uh, because of some, some disease. But at least we, 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 we contributed something for her. And indeed, she was so grateful, left her with a smile, and that is a big achievement for us. What I would like to say is, these people are not, are not in a good condition, and I would urge the authorities that are responsible to come in and uh, at least give them a hand, because the biggest challenge they are facing is the water supply. Yeah, they have one borehole. Can you imagine? In, a, in 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 the whole village, they have one borehole. Yeah, a village of over 75 homesteads and a population of around 700. Yeah, having one borehole. So I would urge uh, the leadership of this area to fight hard and at least solve the challenge and even the other other challenges like the source of income is low because of the market they have banana that's what they sell but they say the banana is bought at a very cheap price can you imagine uh, such a banana can be sold at five thousand three thousand they get little money and uh, that's poor standards of living. What I would start with is, there a lady who can speak? is water. Because it's the biggest challenge. Each and every homestead we have reached to, they say, they face that challenge. And the other thing is the market for their produces, like the crops. Basically, the, the banana crop. At least each and every homestead uh, they produce the banana and the coffee. At least we would, I, I would uh, create that market, yeah, uh, that motivates the residents to, to, you know, plant more crops, 
Yeah, and even the pests, they have a problem with pests. <laughs> Their coffee is always affected by the pests. Yeah, and even the bananas. My name is Natin Tumastura. Yes, uh, Masto. Um, tell us about uh, this field work. It's now three weeks. What is your experience? Um, this field work has mixed feelings. The good and the bad. First of all, the 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 good, the the bad is that the the distance is too long. First of all, and it's very hard to get a means of transport that can take you to the center in time. Uh, and this field has also made me realize that there are some people down here who need help, but when the people in power don't know, for example here, their health is not good, they don't have a, a clinic in the, in the community, they have to go to the nearby community to get medication, which is sometimes it's even costly, to buy medicine it's costly, they, they are lacking water, they only have one borehole and sometimes the borehole can, can get spoiled so they don't have where to get water from and the borehole you have to go a long distance to get it, to get the water. So, and others have no jobs, there is a lot of poverty in the community. Actually this field work has opened my eyes knowing that there are people who have needs in terms of uh, there are people who have needs in terms of basic needs there are people who cannot even afford buying themselves love, love drugs there are people who cannot afford even paying for their children's school fees and when we asked them they told us that the government programs don't reach them so that means that though they put their government projects that are helping them Sometimes they don't reach to the people down here in the village. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what, what, you are in which year? I'm in year two, semester two. You are in year two? Yes. Um, during uh, orientation day? Yes. Uh, you, you were oriented to come to the field? Yes. Uh, tell us what was your expectation and the, uh, after three weeks, what have you, have you achieved the, your expectation or tell us about that? Um. When I oriented, I thought I would come to a community where at least they are devout. Not too devout, but at least when they have market where they can sell their things, at least they have some community, some social services. But at, at my surprise, health-wise, the services have not reached them. My, my expectation, I only have 1% of my expectation because I found here there is no health service apart from, apart from the, the roads, there is no other social service that they have. I'd like to, to, to let you know that first of all these people here are farmers and they don't have access to good, good seeds and even the, the medicine to treat their animals once they fall sick because when I was interacting with some farmer she told us that when their animals get sick and they try the local local herbs when they fail they just let the animal die because they have no other knowledge about treating their animals and yet they've invested a lot of money raising <laughs>